What's going on guys? It is Nick. Welcome to the 5th story time. 6th? 5th or 6th? I don't know. One of those numbers story time on this channel. And today I wanted to have a special request from one of my friends to do a story time about him. And he is... I don't... I don't he hasn't been in any of the streams or videos. So you guys don't know him, so I'm not going to give out any names. But he has been my friend for I don't know how long. I think we met way back in like kindergarten so been friends for a long time and we used to go to after school daycare together because our parents couldn't pick us up you know right after school when we weren't riding the bus because we couldn't ride the bus because we lived so close and whatever blah, blah blah so we went to after school daycare which basically means you go to the cafeteria and you just play with all of the toys and everything they had there at that time i think this was in like third or fourth grade maybe a little younger i don't know but we went to there and <laughs> Every day, we there was this woman there. I'm not giving out her name either, but I'm pretty sure she was like sexist or racist or something. He hated us, absolutely. Every day, we would like we do something like literally there was this thing called the peace table, and basically that was like detention in a way. You know, oh you're doing something bad, go to the peace table, and you just had to go and sit down until they said alright you can leave. And there was no talking, you know, the basic, you know, little kid rules that you can't do this or whatever. So we'd walk around, and play with whatever, build Legos, you know, do whatever. And this girl, uh, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she, she was there with us, and there was this, like, little play kitchen set. Like, it was a, a ki like, if this was the floor, it came up to about, probably, like, I'd say right about there. And, like, this is us. And you just, like, a little kitchen window thing with plastic pots and pans and whatever. And... My friend and I would go over to her as she was in this kitchen, and we would just like, we just, we would order food, right? And then she would then proceed to take like the plastic pans and the, the plastic eggs and the ketchup bottles and throw it at us, like, just start chucking all of the, all of the kitchen stuff at us out of this little plastic kitchen window thing. And it was absolutely hilarious, it was a great time until you know you got hit in the eye with a plastic fork, but that was... It was okay, you know, it's, you don't need an eye. So, this this woman, uh, literally one day I was walking around, just walking around my friend. And she said, Nick, my friend's name, go to the peace table. And we said, why? And she said, because you're not playing with anything. Now just think about that for a second. We weren't playing with anything. We were walking around and got sent to the peace table. I don't get it. So, we sat down and she was like, oh, okay, you can leave now after like a thousand years of waiting, which seemed like at the time was probably like ten minutes, I don't know. So, we got out of that. And then another incident happened, and this is kind of a story time about her, and not so much as my friend. But my friend's pretty cool, he's awesome, met him a while ago. I hit him in the finger with a rock one time and like made his finger turn really purple and gross. Like this whole top section of his finger was purple because I like smashed a rock on it on accident and he started crying and it was hilarious to me he didn't find it very funny but I thought it was funny so anyways come in one day and I had a piece of string okay a piece of string probably about I don't know that long maybe yeah it looks about right so about that long and I'm just walking around dragging it around the floor and I, I figured I'd get in trouble for it I just kind of had this preconceived notion I'm gonna get in trouble for this but I don't really care so I was walking around with this piece of string and she said give me the string and I said no. And she said, give me the string or go to the peace table. And I said no and no. And sat down with my book bag, put the string in my pocket, and waited for my father to come pick me up. About five minutes goes by, and she says, I thought I told you to give me that string. And I said, I thought I told you no. And at that point, she got very unhappy with me. And she went like this, just like this. She went, <sighs> just a kid. Count to five, he's just a kid. And like started doing that, I was like, what the heck, are you insane? And so she got very frustrated with me, and actually had a tug of war match with me. I was holding on to the string, like wrapped around my hand, holding on to it, and she was holding on to it, and pulling on it. And I just like jerked it away from her, and she was like, I can't believe you're being, you know, so... I forget what word she used, but she was like very frustrated with me, that I wouldn't give her this piece of string. And I wouldn't go to the peace table because I was dragging string on the floor. And it's just like, why? You know? But it's things like that you can look back on and be like, <laughs> I did that when I was a kid. So, 
it was fun, it was interesting, and the, the whole getting thrown things at, getting thrown at with things with my friend was all always fun and fantastic. And you know, every day it was the, we're not friends anymore, now we're friends, because I hit him in the eye with a paper ball, and then he'd cry, and I'd be like, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, be my friend, please, I didn't mean it. And then he'd be like, okay, I forgive you, and stuff like that, just like dumb little kid stuff. And then one day we were drawing, and I used to be like really good at drawing, I could actually draw, okay? And we drew these pictures, and he drew a picture of this guy on the wall with like the sun and all this stuff, and he had like a little gun sticking out of his pocket, like nothing, you know, graphic or mean or anything, he just had a little handgun sticking out of his pocket. And he just says, hey Nick, look at this handgun I drew, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then the lady comes by, and she's like, what's that? And he's like, oh, his pocket's just sticking out. And I was like... Okay. Okay. And she was like, is that what it is, Nick? And I was like, yes, that's what it is. That was definitely what it is. And then she took our drawings and ripped them up. Like, threw them away. I was like, you can't do that. I spent like, I spent like 10 minutes drawing that, man. You can't take that away from me. Okay? This is my artwork. Me. And, and my friend, okay? I just, you can't do that. But it was cool. It was funny. So that's eh, my voice. That's really it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see all of you in the next episode. See you later, guys.